boxing. This is the Feudum Kickstarter big box. So this has got the uh, free expansions built in and the, um, is it Catapults and Conifers or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in. It's by Mark Swanson with the amazing art of Justin Schultz. Yeah, so there we go. Now, I looked into it a bit and Mark Swanson, so he is a, um, a professor by trade and uh, Schultz, Justin Schultz, uh, he, I was listening to a blog and uh, he discovered him by, in a, I think he was in some sort of shop, a coffee shop or something. There was some pictures up or something advertising some local band and he liked the artwork and uh, contacted him and the rest is history. So, here we go, Feudum. Now, reports coming through. There's some mixed ones, but on the whole, people are absolutely loving this game. I think the people that like really heavy Euros uh, are more leaning towards loving this game. So, good strong box, amazing artwork there. We've got the Behemoth here. And uh, it does look fantastic, doesn't it? And we just commented before, Just this has just turned up, how wildly different that is isn't it I, I just absolutely love the artwork on there so what we got in here so ah uh, so because we've got the uh, expansions included this is good so they're in the three different languages so where are we seals and sirens that's what we want so that expansions included uh, and the bits in that there's not a lot in the, and this is why some people had this the separate boxes and I can see why um, Mark Swanson wanted this. It makes a landscape box, doesn't it? But uh, anyway, so we got a Royal Rick card, six Whirlpool discs, the rule books, and the Siren token itself, and just another neat thing to add to the game, isn't it? So that will be the seals and sirens. We have windmills and catapults, as well included. Another expansion, and that will. Ha Excuse me, this one's quite important because if you want to, this adds a sixth player. And you get three pawns, four player discs, stroke reeves, the 20 influence markers, all in this silvery, uh, like pewter colour. We have eight region stroke landscape tiles, uh, the rule books, a working windmill, a player pouch, 11 action cards, and two royal writ cards. And that's what we're going to get in the windmills and catapults one. And then here we have the alter ego, these are just in. Uh, it's German and is it Spanish probably? Do you know <laughs> I've got two two English ones so somebody's put the in fact I'm really pleased at least I've got the English but somebody's put two English ones in here. So uh yeah. yeah. That's foreign. Oh, well, so we got, sorry, that one's foreign, it is. Sorry, I've just, Donna's just pointed that out to me. It is. It's just it's saying alter ego there, and then on this one it says, Regalin alter ego. So, but, uh, yeah, sorry. Descartes, I think that's Spanish, isn't it? And I think that's German. Okay, so here's the English one. So the bits in this, we get the flying epoch, epoch marker, 36 action cards, six alternates per player, and the rule books. Okay. Uh, now we get to the uh, main rule books. That's Spanish. That's the English, and that's the German. So let's have a quick look through. So it says the bits, the board. Good splash cover there, layout, double spread on how setting up. And there's quite a lot of setups to this game. I don't mind that. That's part of. Uh, Part of game day, having a good uh, setting up the game. Quite a lot of uh, questions popping up on Board Game Geek. Um, it's quite nice in a way that some other people have had this game a week or two now because a lot of the rule ambiguities are being ironed out, so you can just quickly look on Board Game Geek and find the answer. There we go. And uh, handy Royal Ritz on the back there. I might photocopy that and laminate it just to have round the table. Um, player boards here. Let's have a look. Now these just seems a bit wasteful, doesn't it? We're going green on the planet. So, um, the, you know, it just all that so far is waste 
for me because it's in German and Spanish. And we're going to have the same now with the player boards. It just seems, uh, just rubs a bit the wrong way, doesn't it? But anyway, I'm glad it's not the COT, Vitale this COT game. That would be ironic. So, um, so we've got English and then the Spanish and German. English, Spanish, and German. English, Spanish, German. So, oh, wait a minute, we're not finished yet, are we? Of course, we've got this side. English, Spanish, and German. English, Spanish, German. And English, Spanish, German. That is a lot of wastage, isn't it? That just, I know, obviously, the econo economics of doing it must be to have the one SK, SKU code, do they call it? And uh, makes things simpler, 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 and it must be cheaper to do it this way. But, you know, that's a lot of waste, isn't it? Okay, so there's the player sheets. Let's have a look at one. Let's have a look at that nice, colourful pink one. Uh, looks all in order, doesn't it? Looks quite good. Like, love the artwork and, and the, the funny staring cat there. And then on the back, there we go. So there's the player sheets. Now come to punch boards. Got smaller punch boards here with the got the player pouches here or haversacks and coins. I have um, done in pledge manner for the manager for the metal coins. They look pretty neat, I think. And uh, oh, nice thick card. Really nice thick card for the tokens. Nice centralization on them as well. That's always important. No offset. I mean, even the targets here, look, are fully centralized. That's nice. And again, I pledge for these wooden ones of these. Um, and uh, here's the machines, the vessels, I should say. Very nice. <coughs> We've got this, the board here. Can't wait to open that up. That's really sturdy and heavy. So put that to one side. Then we look in the box here. So it's easily been able to accommodate the free uh, expansions, hasn't it? So here's the conifers, which are going to add a lot of, uh, make the board pop, aren't they? Um, and it's quite neat. There's two of each. So let's have a look. They feel almost that they're heavy resin, like metal. They feel, you know, the hard and cold. Um, you should hear the clack now. Really nice. They are superb. Let's get another one out. You know, and it's just flavour, isn't it? As you're playing the game, but how nice are them? Do you know, often you see on Kickstarter and you see 3D rendered uh, digital images and stuff. And if that's the right terminology. And, you know, they never actually look as good. And these do, don't they? These look like they've just popped out the page. They're absolutely superb, aren't they? Really, really nice. That's a good omen. So we've got those and we've got brown set there as well. So here we have the six player pieces from the, is it the Alter Ego expansion? Let's have a look at these big pawns because these look really good. They're almost like dice. Is that silk screen imprinted on the, on the tops? They look good, don't they? They don't have a light wood, but you know, not too bad. And they look pretty good. And of course we've seen them in many games, the, the little, uh, is it octagons? One, two, three, four, five, six, um, no, what's a six sided one? Is it not a pent? Is it pent? I don't know. I really pent Could be pent. I always get mixed up. I used to know. Plenty of baggies. That's the flying epop marker. There we go. It's just a, a silk screen disc. Uh, player pieces here now. More of them nice pawns there, or cubes, or I'm not sure of the reference in the, but they're, that's a very vibrant colour, isn't it? Very nice. The different colours, green, blue, red. We have uh, this other one here, on its own. Discs, 
minute, tiny, tiny, probably five mil cubes, four mil maybe, about four mil I say them cubes are, four or five mil max, probably for fitting on places on the board aren't they, I know they go on top of these don't they on some of them, um, Kickstarter player marker here, King, again it's heavy, really heavy resin, well I presume it's resin, but uh, yeah he's a good mark, oh look and he's got the behemoth on the side there, so that's pretty cool, uh, digging deeper in, oh so this must be, so in the punch board, so here's the vessels, but we have these in this set, we have the wooden vessels, in that nice like watercolour muted, is like a mint greeny blue sort of colour, you see, they're very nice, very classy, made out of wood with the silver um, markings of the vessel. That's an underwater vessel, like a submarine. And we have another one of them cubes here. And we have like a flying vessel. So yeah, the flying vessel, whichever one that is, we have the ship for going on the, or boat for going on the water, and the subaquatic one, the like submarine for going underneath. And out of wood, they're very nice indeed. Really, really like those. Uh, here, this must be, I think, the maiden, the sea siren, or whatever you will call her. Is it her? No, it's not. Oh, sorry, no, this is the windmill. That's a surprise. So he comes, that's a good touch that they did this. He comes protected in that little bit of cardboard because this is, oh, it's, it's not too thin actually, the metal. But I expected that bit to be wood, but that would have been so fragile. That's actually very neat, isn't it? There's your working windmill. Again, it's the heavy resin on the windmill itself. And uh, I mean, it's, it's painted up ready, isn't it? Perfect. I'm going to go nice on the board and it's got working blades. So there we go. That's the windmill. Um, oh, here's the behemoth and the, is it sea serpent? Let's have a look at the sea serpent. <clears throat> Rarely do models match. Uh, what you see on the thing like I was saying and, and these certainly do again heavy like heavy thick resin and he's awesome isn't he absolutely awesome sits sits nice and got two flat bits there so he sits really well and here's the behemoth he's a bad boy him isn't he again gorgeous colours used and he's just absolutely awesome there we go there he is um, Ah, here she is. Here's the sea siren. There's the mermaid. There we go. She's pretty groovy. There we are. Uh, more tiny little cubes. Another thick punch board. The windmills and the catapults there. We have a couple of bags here, one with the F1 for Feudum, really good quality. It's not just uh, the thin felt that can go through, it's got like a finish on the inside, like a plastic coated or woven finish, nice. Excellent quality bags, ones that you'd spend six or seven quid on, I would say. Really good quality bags. Uh, that must be the extra pouch for the extra player. Got some whirlpool discs here. And card decks. Oh, and this must be, I guess these are the Kickstarter cards, which thankfully I think are going to turn up in the Board Game Geek store and also given out at conventions. But the vast majority of people would, of course, get these in the Board Game Geek store. So I wouldn't sweat it, they'll turn up there. Um, and these have got foil on them. They're very, very nice, aren't they? Lovely artwork. Pretty sure that is the Kickstarter. There's the nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But I'm pretty sure that's them. Um, <clears throat> well, what else? Squirrels and conifers. We got there's the the siren. Another deck here, should we have a quick look? Just seen something nice in the box insert. 
uh, this deck here. Okay. Um, and some sealed decks here. Let's quickly get into them. So we can show this game it's in its entirety. Okay, I found my little world. So there's little tab things to pull, but as with many of these things, they didn't kind of do the job to open up. So you have this deck of cards here. I say in the player colours, aren't they? I like games like this where everybody's got an equal deck of cards, or sometimes asymmetric, um, and depending on which ones you play each turn or what your actions are going to be. I think it's, is it four cards you play each turn? think so. So there's one deck and finally just this other deck. Oh, there's this, other, this was a first player marker but we have this one instead. So there's all the bits in the game. They're pretty good aren't they? I say the bits, the like model pieces if you like. Let's have a look at this. This will be enhanced further with the wooden tokens and the metal coins and there's a so nice solo game isn't there with a and there's a horse token in there as well as speed I think it is. So look, so large deck of cards here. There's the artwork. One more thing about the cards. If you want to sleeve them, I'll be playing this with game groups and stuff, and you know, you just want your stuff to to remain nice, isn't it? Is um the cards you're looking for, if it's FFG, it's 59 by 92. I've got the Swamp and Asia, um, because these do premium sleeves. Uh, and these are the 60 by 92. Let's just check one and you get 100 in a pack. So I've got enough here even for the expansion that, that uh, I've got a couple of hundred sleeves there, plenty. And let's just check. So these are nice premium sleeves. Absolutely fit like a glove. Look at that. Frame nicely. So there we go. So they fit really well. So that's the Swamp and Asia, uh 60 by 92, 100 premium. Or if you get an FFG, it can be 59 by 92. That's if you want sleeves. One other good thing, let's move these bad boys here, is if you look look at the box here, so you've got the windmill, and look at the behemoth, he's looking over, isn't he? And I think it follows through. No, he's through there, but he's looking over. So look, there's, yeah, there's the back, and there's the front. You see in the opposite side of it, it's very neatly done. Excellent. It's such a shame to lose that insert, it's so nice. Um, whether I get a wooden insert for this, I'm not sure. It's a lot of pieces, isn't it? Now let's have a look at this fabulous game. Okay. One thing, just before I put these away, I'm gonna put these to one side. If anybody in Spain wants to swap me for a full Spanish set for an English set of the rules and player sheets, uh, just comment under the video and we can get that happening or on Board Game Geek. And of course, the same for the German set. Um, it's handy having extra sets of the rules, especially at board game days and stuff, uh, when we're playing with groups and, and things. So yeah, let's swap, let's let's stop in these and uh, anybody wants to swap a set, we can see it won't cost much in postage and uh, swap to get the relevant rules that we need. So I've got a German set and uh, of course, a Spanish set. Right, let's have a look at this game board. So the back's really nice, almost like a two-toner effect there. It's got some loads of colours kind of dancing around there. Definitely like a two-tone. So it's a large, long board. It's just a little bit of back bend in there, just so it's going to lie true. And that is just a dreamy board, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Um, looks extremely nice. So just quickly put some of the models out. I mean, I have no idea where these are supposed to go, so don't call me out, but I guess the Sea Serpent's gonna be in the sea, and the Maiden's gotta pop up there somewhere if we're playing with her. Um, love these bits on the board, uh, and the windmill, and everything else. There's gonna be a lot going on. It is a super, super, super heavy game, which excites me in a way. It's gonna be, a, you know, it's gonna be hard to learn and get down, but it's a challenge also, and I love that challenge. So, you know, we'll get this one off the bat, we'll get it, learn it and get onto the advanced game, get all the other bits added to it. And I'm sure it's going to be an amazing game. Certainly what I've seen so far really excites me. That is Feudum and that's the Kickstarter uh, big box version with all the expansions. Thanks for watching.